Ag AM in Kansas brought to you in part by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Welcome back to Farm Factor. Let's join Dwayne and Lindsay Sankey as they discuss her blog, Jeans Boots Are Made For Talking. Dwayne Taves joining you on Ag AM in Kansas while at the Kansas Livestock Association Annual Convention and Trade Show. An opportunity to catch up with Lindsay Sankey from Economy Illinois. And Lindsay, you got to share some perspective with the producers here at the conference. Tell us a little bit about uh, your background and, and how you got into doing what it is that, that you currently do to promote the industry. Sure. I grew up on a purebred shorthorn operation in Indiana and have since, uh, after graduating from college and, and working in agriculture communications, have started a personal blog called Jeans Boots Are Made for Talking, which really catalogs the life of a stockman's wife. Um, it started out as a, a real world example of life working for the NCBA in Washington, D.C. as a single gal when I lived out there. I've since um, moved back to Indiana, gotten married, married a stockman, um, and now the purpose of that blog is to tell our beef story, to connect a real couple and a real family to beef production, um, and really try to put to, uh, minds to ease as people go to the meat counter and have no idea where their food came from or what kind of face or, or production practices might be behind it. What I do is uh, look at production and techniques and different things that we do locally on our farm and then uh, how that affects the end result of, of what consumers eat. We think about uh, transitioning from rural to urban America and making that, uh, that uh, as go as quickly and smoothly as possible as far as that information transfer. Economy Illinois, or Indiana, I understand, uh, it doesn't get much more rural than that. That's right. So we don't have a source there in economy to buy groceries or anything. A lot of the beef production in our area goes on to much bigger cities. Um, but a way that we tell that story is, of course, through internet blogs or letters to the editor. Um, and, and really, even people that grew up or grow up or live now in rural communities don't have a, a sound understanding of how that beef is produced. Um, so that's why I, I tell our story every week. We think about the opportunity to do that. Uh, the electronic age has really transformed our ability to reach out to a much larger audience. Uh, we're no longer isolated in those rural areas. But how do you come up with things that, that are relevant each and every day? Well, I actually blog once a week, but I find inspiration on what to write about every day. Um, you know, whether it's something treating a sick animal or the birth of an animal or shipping something to market, there's something done on a beef operation every single day that's worth telling about. And even if it doesn't happen in the barn, you know, maybe it's something about the humorous look at, at newlyweds trying to figure this thing out um, and trying to integrate shorthorn genetics into a five, fifth generation Angus herd. You know, there's always a, a way to find a humor and a lesson in what we do. Um, and I try to make that very relatable. So whether it's teaching kids discipline from halter breaking calves and comparing that to maybe how kids play sports um, and, as consumers in town, there's always a way to, to make it personal and relate back to the consumer. Now obviously your background in communications uh, and education uh, in that arena helped you come to uh, the point where you can do that. I know a lot of producers uh, just kind of feel uh, inadequate or that what they have to say isn't important, but that's really not the case. That's not the case at all. Um, those involved in agriculture are the most passionate people I've ever had the pleasure of working around and growing up with. And uh, we're very genuine people. And that that's an, a common misconception maybe that we don't have it in us to tell our story. But really, you know, wouldn't the world feel better about things if we knew that everyone we ever talked to is telling the truth? And, and in agriculture, that's what we have to do is really be honest about what we do and tell that story. And who better to tell our story than us? You know, if we don't talk about beef production, someone is going to make it up and it's going to end up in the media. All right, thanks to Lindsay Sankey, uh, Economy Illinois, joining us here on Ag AM in Kansas uh, from the Kansas Livestock Association Annual Convention and Trade Show. Jamie, back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. Okay, it's time to grab a cup of coffee, but don't go away. Next up is this week's Kansas Soybean Update.
Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter.